Welcome to my channel, Steve of the Window Cleaner. Today, I'm going to make a video about how to remove window screens from single hung windows like this, and then sliders. We'll talk about removing it from the outside and how to remove it from the inside. First, we're gonna start outside. Um, a tool that I always have when removing screens is a putty knife. This is pretty used. Uh, most important thing about this is that it's the stiff kind as far as no flex in the actual uh, knife part of the putty knife. So what you're gonna do with most screens, and these are very simple single hung screens that you'll see on most homes, is that they're gonna be spring loaded right up in here. I'll show you what that is in a second, but they're spring loaded. So when windows are pretty new and you push in on the screen up here, you'll see the screen release down there. Let me do it, I'll keep the camera down there. I'll push on the top and you see it release right there. So that was a spring engaged. Now these screens are starting to get a little worn so you can see how the whole thing doesn't pop up and dirt and everything gets in there. So that's the reason why nothing, that's the reason why the whole thing hasn't popped out at once. So that's where a putty knife is very, very helpful. Why? Because it's thin. Um, a paint can opener can work well as well. First thing you wanna do is just get underneath if you see what happened there, it kind of pops. That is a usual thing that can happen. What I like to almost do is put it back to here, get underneath it like that, stick the putty knife there, re-engage the spring by pushing up here and releasing the screen just like that. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to do for a single hung window to take the screen out. Now it's a good thing whenever you take your screens out to take a brush clean out this track, clean out this track, and clean out this track. That will make putting the screen in and out easier because dirt won't build up in the corners. When you wanna put this back from the outside, pretty, pretty simple with this one because it fits nicely. You wanna make sure that these little springs right here, I call them springs, they might have a better name, um, are like this. If they're like this or like that, the screen obviously it's not gonna go in very nicely, okay? So keep them just like that, just put them in. Make sure you get all the edges in so that when you go away, your customer doesn't call you and say the screen wasn't backing all the way. So that's how to take out and remove a single hung screen from the outside. So now we're gonna talk about a, this is what I call a slider, it might have a different name, but obviously you can tell I can't even reach the top. I'm still gonna show you how to remove this. If not, if you feel like you just really aren't safe here, use a four foot step ladder to take this out from the outside. So same thing here, opposite from these tabs, there's gonna be springs that if we push in there, you see this screen is in good shape. So when I push in, it fully releases from the top and bottom. So with this one, I can do it with my hand and not even use the putty knife and take it out just like that. So that's a very easy screen to remove. And then to put it back, I like to just angle it first in here, get it back in the track at an angle, engage, push here, and get the screen in like that. So you see, if I don't have to use the putty knife, I do not use the putty knife. Um, one other thing about this screen that you wanna be careful with when you get into larger screens is never doing this and then pushing too much in. Because what you'll do is you'll bend this and there'll always be like a little notch there, no matter what, unless the person actually replaced the framing. But as you can tell here, this has a little more flex, you can hear it. What you wanna be careful with when you're taking these out is that you don't break these. You can replace these and get parts for them, um, but that's something to note and that you wanna be careful when taking these screens out to not break those. Will it happen? Yes. But that is how you remove uh, the slider screens just like that that come out from the outside. And now we're gonna remove the single hung screen from the inside. So of course first, of course you gotta open the window or bring it up as much as possible. Now, what you have here is you have these two tabs from the inside that you can pull on, right? One thing to note about these kind of tabs is they start to get very brittle, especially from the sun over time. Sometimes you'll see clear ones that are now like an orange color. Those will almost break the instant that you uh, pull on them. So once again, what's really good to do is use the springs again so you do not have to use these from the inside. So what I like to do is take my hand and stick it up where the springs are and lightly push out. Now, if that doesn't do it, 
And what I'll do is keep my hand in one corner, but I'm not pushing out on the screen so I don't disengage any of the stuff holding the screen in. Stick my putty knife there and lightly wedge out, just like that. So I haven't used the tabs at all, but I've just used the springs and the putty knife. And it literally pops out just like that as I engage the springs again at the top. So that is a lot better way of taking the screen out. Then you can just angle it and bring it in if you're gonna do it like that. But that is how you take a screen out from a single hung window on the inside. Now in putting it back, let's say that you only have one of these tabs and one of the tabs is broken. What you wanna do is you wanna angle in the side of the tab that's broken so that when you get to this point, this is the point where you will have to grab the tab a little bit, engage the spring on that side and bring it in. And that's how it will sit nicely. And just make sure it's locked into that lip so that it doesn't come out after you leave the job. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you how to remove the screen from the inside on a slider. So, same thing, you wanna release, of course, the window, open it up fully. And with this simple one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're not really gonna use the tabs. We're just gonna push in to disengage it, push out very lightly, come down to the bottom spring, and disengage just like that. And we'll bring it in to the house like that, or for a first floor, you could set it outside and recollect them outside. That's what I usually do. But on second floors, if they're really dirty here, I'll give them a good wipe so that they don't bring any dirt into the house, but then bring them in so that you can bring them down and clean them is usually the best way to do it. To reinstall it, really nothing special here, of course. We're gonna make sure that our springs are good and put into that lip. We're gonna hold the spring in, lightly hold the tab there, and then bring the tab in here. Once again, screens can be a lot tighter than this. This is a very easy example of how to remove screens. Uh, they're still in good shape. They remove well. As I get more um, screen videos in, I'll also show screens that are very hard to remove. But this is how to remove screens on single hungs and sliders from the inside and outside. Thanks.